Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And very good morning to everybody. So it's Monday, Monday Blues. So for today, we will continue our discussion in chapter two, and hopefully we can finish by today. And um, I just want to give a few announcements before we proceed. Uh, for this week, we will start a tutorial class. Okay, Dr. Yam already provide the link for tutorial class in WhatsApp groups. And please enter the, the class and please attend because um, the tray is quite important to make sure everybody understand every chapter that we will discuss. For example, chapter uh, tutorial one will cover chapter one and chapter three. And probably um, the, the tutors will have another set of questions and you are free to ask them, okay? Uh, if you don't understand during the lectures because the lectures is provide only 50 minutes, not more than that, okay? And plus minus uh, with uh, with uh, holidays, and we will have maybe less than that. Okay. And the second announcement is uh, in ten next ten days we will have a quiz. Okay. Uh, it will be prepared by myself, and I think it's around nineteenth uh, November. Uh, will be a quiz. And you have to answer 20 questions in one hour. It's all MCQs. So it's open test. I mean, uh, no open book test. Open test is mean you can take any time you want during the durations. And yeah, it's only one attempt. Okay, it's better to have a, a good internet connections before you start the test. Okay, it will cover chapter one and chapter three. Okay. Okay. Boom. Hello. Uh, next, continue our discussion in chapter two is about AC and base. We already discussed these questions. This question finish. Yes. Good. Okay. Question number five. Okay. Answer the following questions about this kind of compounds. Okay. A drug that use to treat high blood pressures. And first, label the most acidic proton in a small hole. Okay the most acidic protons. Okay, nice. It's working now. The most acidic protons. Okay, we have here understand uh, the, the definitions of uh, acids. Eh? Acid protons. It's already mentioned acid proton. It means the com are the, the functional groups or the part that prefer to donate the S plus. So in this case, we have CH, NH, and also OH. Okay. So because in periodic tables, okay, uh, the acidity increase from the left to right, okay. And if we can conclude that OH is the most acidic one. Okay. Acidic one. Okay, first question, done. Okay, it's better for you to give a reason. Okay, for this kind of questions, we ask you label the, the most acidic proton. So first mark is element effects. Okay, this one. CH and H and OH. And the second one, you have to mention which one is the most acidic. Okay. Second one, what product are formed when a smaller treat with NA sodium hydroxide? Okay. Sodium hydride. The third one, what product are formed when a smaller treat with HCl? Okay. We leave, uh, we try to answer question number four first. Okay. This one is a long discussion long discussions okay label all sp2 hybridized atom okay sp2 hybridized atom so it's only make a three bond okay just ignore the, the five bond okay three sigma bond so it should be here okay okay don't forget chapter one okay this one is 
SP2 hybridize. In this one, okay. Label or the trigonal planar pyramidal atom. It's a label or only trigonal planar. Okay, it's a in his trigonal planar. <coughs> Okay, C label all carbons that bear the delta positive charge. Okay, delta positive charge is my Okay, I will make a star. Okay, so this one, this one, this one, this one. One and of course this one, this one. Okay, because the different in charge, eh? Because um, the carbon and hydrogen doesn't much difference in 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 charge. That's why we doesn't see any difference. But for this one, the electron cloud pull in these directions. So this one is will be data negative, and this one is better positive. Okay, uh, for this one the examples, the, the, it's put like this. It's put like this. Okay, so this one is data positive. This one data negative. This one data positive. This one is like this. Data positive. And this one data negative. This one in these directions. Okay, I hope it's clear. So question number one done, number two done, number three four letters. Okay, four, four, five, six is done. Okay, next we try to answer question number two and three. So question number two, what they ask? Number two, what they ask? Okay, for a form with a smaller chain sodium hydride. So we have to understand what is sodium hydride. Sodium hydride is base. So base we react with acid. Okay. So among them, okay, we have to check which one is acid, the most acidic part. It's refer question number one. So OH is the most acidic part. So we have to, how to do it? Okay, okay. Yes, okay. Because N sodium hydride is a form is ionic form. So N A positive hydride negative okay so so we already have a, a drug with a, with a strike proton here the bonding between oxygens and hydrogens we give to oxygens so you have to draw back the structures so this <clears throat> negative so, can put sodiums or something like that So we can put sodium also. We can put it in this way. Okay. 
Okay, the second question is what product are formed when a smaller treated with SCL? The chloric acid is the acid. Okay, acid will react with base. So we find the most basic one. The most basic one is this one. So SCL, H, C, L. Okay, they have a pair of electron here. Let's try. Photon. Remember, basic will attack acid. Nucleophile will attack electrophile. Okay, so it will give the products. This. H in H in three. Okay, don't forget the formal charge for nitrogens. So it will be positive. Okay. Plus minus chlorine. Okay. Okay. If you manage to answer this one, you can get two marks. Okay. This is one max. This means another one max. Okay. Okay. We shall we go to the next questions? Okay. <clears throat> For each uh, for each pair of compound one, okay. Uh, for each of com pair of compound, okay. Number one, which indicate the H is more acidic, okay. Two, draw the conjugate base of each acid. Three, which conjugate base is stronger, okay. So understand the question first, okay. Okay, for A, okay, increase the percent of S characters. Okay. okay. Increase percentage of S character. Better make C more AC. Okay, this is the first one. Fine. Okay, we have to compare the S character for this kind of compounds between one, uh, one, one compound A and compound B. Okay. Okay, for this one, this one have uh, this one is sp hybridized, so it have around fifty percent of S character. Character. So this one is this one is more acidic. Okay, and you can try to draw the the conjugate base. Okay, so for the conjugate base is like this. Oh my god. Like this. Okay. This one is this. Okay. Okay. If we remove this acid also, okay, this one is um sp3. Sp3 is 25%. This character. Okay, so we draw the second conjugate base for this compound. So, the uh, ring. Okay. 
Okay, this one is going to be this. Okay, at this point, okay, at this point, the second point here is uh, stronger AC has weaker conjugate base. Okay, in this one, this one is stronger AC. It, it have a weaker conjugate base. It's mean this one is stronger conjugate base. Okay. okay. Finish. One, two, three question. It's answered directly. Okay. So for the B, okay, again, okay, this one is SP2 hybridized and it have around 33% of S character. Okay, and this one is SP3, we have around 25% S character. Okay, again, do the same thing. So you should draw the conjugate base. Okay, remove this one. Okay, put a pair of electrons to here. So, let's put down this. Don't forget the formal charge. Okay. And for this one, it's become like this. So remove this one, taking by base. So a pair of electron will give it to carbon. So it's become like this. Don't forget the formal charge. Okay. Again, this statement stronger acid is a weaker. Weaker conjugate base, this is stronger acid, okay, and this is weaker conjugate base. Meanwhile, this one is stronger conjugate base. Okay, so first, first way we have to dine. Uh, what, what you have to do is you have to observe the compound first. Try to fit which uh, which factor that affect the acidity. So, okay, in this case, it's a, a number of S, uh, hybridization of percentage of S characters. So, and after that, you have to understand a strong acid is a weak conjugate base. Okay, so you can determine which one is a stronger or weaker conjugate base. Okay, okay. It's quite easy for this one. So next question seven. Okay. Rank the component of each groups. Okay. In order increasing acidity, what you have to do, you have to rank. Okay. You have to rank. Okay. Press rank. Rank. Okay. Increasing acidity. But it means it means from low to high okay so you have to determine what factor affecting the acidity so for a okay it's a uh, it's element effects so for this one they have the ch this one oh this one is in h in predictables from left to right is increasing acidities so this one is the last one this one L -E -E. <clears throat> this one is intermediate medium this uh, this one is sorry, sorry this one is higher sorry this one is medium this one is higher sorry so you have to arrange huh? just uh, maybe you can do number. i think it's better to draw the structure so um two, three okay comma 
And after that, you can do like this. H2. And lastly, it's like this. You can do like this. It's better to do like this. Okay, it's better. Explain because just explain, put some explanations. As I said, it's, it's because of element effects, uh, CH, OH, and NH. So um, from in predictable from left to right, it will increase the acidity. For this one, okay. For this one, wait, uh, for this one, for this one, we have, uh, yeah, we have this kind of compounds. Uh, we have OH here, OH, OH, OH. So, uh, first, uh, this one is the, the less, least, eh? LEAST, acidity. This one, if we remove the H, it's a resonance stabilized. The localizations of uh, electron in this in these areas, but this one is the medium. And lastly, they have also a resonance structure resonance. Effect plus because they have the electro withdrawing group, which is bromines, it could be um, okay. Bromine is uh, bromine is electro withdrawing groups, okay. This one makes this uh, this compound is more. Acidics, okay, because the electron cloud hole in this. Chains. Okay, at the same time they are maintaining, okay, the resonance structure. So, B or B, how to arrange it? Okay, it's become like this. Okay. Or if you want to answer like this, it's okay also. Okay. You have uh, you have so many uh, style to answer these questions, but I strongly advise to answer like this. You have to show an arrows increasing acidity. Okay, for the C, for the C. For the C for this one, okay, this is an uh, element effect. So we have NH here. And the, we have CH here. And this one we have OH. Again, this one is a uh, this. This one is medium. This one is high. So arrange it. Okay, so how to arrange? Okay. So uh, if you want to ring the, the compounds, you have to make sure which one is fit 
with the factor of increasing acidities. Okay, so this is the answer for this kind of questions. So make sure you you when you try to rank, make sure you you you, you write your answer is properly arranged. Okay, make sure you have the arrows that you can explain the increasing trend of acidities. Okay, make sure you draw all the compounds. Okay, it's it's quite important to make sure us as examiners understand how to how how you try to explain to us about the, the answers. Okay. And okay, I think we have okay. We said we'll finish soon. Okay. So next we will discuss about this one. Which anion A or B is the stronger base? Okay, we have to understand which anions, what is anions? Okay. They have only A and B, so no C and B. Okay. So stronger base. This is the stronger base. Okay. So we have two functional groups. The one is a carboxylic acid. The second one we have had the high. Okay. So A is a resonance so is a strong acid. Okay, a strong acid. It's not acid, it's, it's base already. A resonance stabilize. Okay, so A is weaker. Okay, because previously it's a strong acid, now it's become weaker base. Okay, you have to go back to the original definition of acid and base, conjugate acid and conjugate base. So, and for the other high, okay. Okay, for the B, the negative charge, okay, the negative charge, negative charge. Localize. Localize or on oxygen in B. So B is so B so B is stronger. Okay, that's all. Two marks. Okay. Okay, we well, okay, we already finished discuss the first set of these uh, questions. So now we can move to the second one. Okay, I will discard this one. Okay, we will go for the second set. We have around four questions. Okay, next questions. Okay, uh, draw draw the curve arrow to illustrate the flow of uh, sorry typo electron in huh, what's happened to my in one to three. Okay, B identify the base and it conjugate acid in step one. Identify for the C. Identify the acid and its conjugate base in step three. Okay, they have a lot of uh, question in one questions, so we will do one by one. Okay, first we will let's settle the question A. Okay, what they need, they want, they want you to. I'm oh, sorry. And.
Okay, uh, so you have to draw, draw the curve arrows. Okay, curve arrow is a double headed arrows, a double headed, headed arrows. Eh? And to illustrate the flow of electron in step one to three, so what you have to do is show how is it going. So and this one you have to make sure what is that. This one is a, a base. This one is hydrosonium ion, so it's a acid. So it can represent like this OH2 plus. So acid will attack the base. No, yes, correct. So okay, and after that, see the second products here. It's become like this. So this one is possible actions okay you will learn in detail in <clears throat> higher chapters okay and next one in this case water is become become base and this one is become acid so they will extract the proton here so this yeah one here and give it to you here and after that, one from here, give it to the data zone. Okay, so it becomes this kind of products. Okay, so what, what you have to do is you have to determine which one is AC and which one is base. And the second one, you have to see the products also. Okay, how is it going? Okay, next for the B, identify the base and you could be acid in step one. Okay. A is base, uh, as I said, A is base, this one, this one, eh? this one is base, and B is, uh, oh, they have A and B, okay, so, sorry, A and B, this one is base, A, base, B, base become, when you get, <coughs> Okay. In C, identify the acid and its conjugate base. Okay. I'm missing the steps. Okay. It's okay. So in this case, okay, in step three, I uh, see this one is C, this one is D. Okay. Okay, in this kind of one is C is A C D is you get is okay. I hope it's clear. It's quite direct. It's uh, going back to the early stage of chapter two. Okay, A C become conjugate base base become conjugate assist okay next questions and okay <clears throat> okay draw the product okay of each acid base reaction they ask you to draw product of acid base reactions okay so in this case we have to determine which one is acid and which one is base so in this case, is this one is sodium hydroxide? We know this one is base, and this one is acid. Okay, base we will attack the the most acidic part in this compound. So we have to determine which one is the most acidic part. Okay, they have they have CH and he and NH no OH okay, element effect. Okay, they have uh only one okay this one it's also involved the resonance effect it's mean they have two effects here okay the common one is element effect the additional will be the resonance the hybridization and so on okay so in this case we have base here uh, 
because it's a uh, unique forms in a plus k o h minus okay so we just start. okay that they will give you products make sure you when you try to copy the structures make sure you copy the correct okay if you draw like this it's wrong because this one is another benzene ring okay this is the correct one plus H to oh, H two. Okay. First, what you have to do determine which one is acid, which one is base, and after that, draw conjugate acid and conjugate base, and show how you get your answers. Okay, it's for that. Next. Next, okay. X is a key intermediate in the synthesis of level flows zaxins okay give the reason why and h okay and h here okay it's more acidic than oh ah, that's a good question acidic okay okay first you have to uh see we have to see okay the stability okay the stability of conjugate base okay so for example like this so we have to base with base here because they ask more acidic why more acidic so in this case they will attract with give it a proton to nitrogens so it's all about the resonance okay and if we take uh, if we take if base okay if base take extract the proton from oh okay this oh is localized okay so you have to draw the resonance structures to show the localizations of electron take a lot of time to, to do it okay Okay, so we have extra electron there. Same time it's negative charge. So okay, so yeah, double arrow should be double arrows. Okay. So okay, so
and in this one they have two probably uh, possibility they can go to these directions or these directions and continue to do uh, the localizations okay resonance and that's why nh is more acid compared to oh okay first that's why uh, it's um it's agreed that uh, they have any if they have uh, for this compound they have CH, uh, NH, OH. Okay, in this case uh, they have been uh, affected by another factors is a resonance factors. That's why NH is more acidic compared to OH because OH is localized. Meanwhile, NH when they are convert to the conjugate <coughs> base. It's become the localizations of electrons. Okay, and for this one, you have to complete the resonance. Okay, it's not stop here. Okay, oh my God. it's not stop here, but you have to complete by yourself. Okay, because it will take a long of time to for me to to draw the structures. Okay, I hope the explanation is okay. Okay, about this one. You have to explain about this question is more reflecting the resonance effect compared to element effect. For the question 12, okay. Last questions, okay. Uh, Camphic acid is organic acid isolated from, from coffee beans. Anybody who love to, to drink coffees, so this is what you get. Okay, cafe acid, that's why sometimes we have stomach ache eh? if in the morning when we try to get a uh, coffee too much coffee in the mornings so uh pretty which uh hydrogen so we have two hydrogens here a and b okay it's more acidic and expand your wrong okay. So you have to draw the resonance. Uh, this is also related with the resonance. Just imagine when um, the base extract proton from the both side and continue with the resonance. But this one, I just give you some homework. Okay? This is some homework. Draw the all resonance structures. Okay. And we can see B, HB, HB is more resonance stabilized compared to HA. Okay. So, so HB is more acid. Okay, because uh, if HA if anybody do this exercise, okay, HA or have around one, two, three, four, five, five resonance. HB have around seven. Okay, this is the, the answer for these questions. Okay. Okay, it's finished. Okay. Okay. 
So it's finished for, for discussion question, which is cover chapter two. So anybody who have questions? Nothing? Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you very much. And hopefully we can see you on Wednesday. Uh, we will already post uh, some lectures uh, in e-learning for chapter three, which is uh, elements and functional groups. And we will discuss more about this one on Wednesday. 